Thank you, Jürgen. Um, I would like to reassure the audience I'm not going to make a real speech or a real intervention. Um, everything has been said, and even more than that, um, I think my role should be modesty. Uh, very friendly words have been spoken. Um, all the speakers um, invested considerable effort in spoiling my, in spoiling my character. <laughs> Again, we should not worry too much. Um, when you are living in a Dutch family, uh, Timio, you may have the same experience being married to a Dutch wife once you start thinking that you are something special, corrective action will be taken. <laughs> um, my memories went back to the 4th of December, 2002. That was the first ANSA board meeting. Uh, it took place, indeed, in some back room of some anonymous commission building. I wasn't there. Uh, yesterday we had the 31st, so my last EMSO board meeting. The first was nine years ago, and one month later uh, the board met again, and they decided to nominate as executive director the person now holding the microphone. And a lot has happened. I don't have to go into that. Uh, most has been mentioned. But on the whole, it seems that we have done pretty well in building an organization. The EMSA systems have been mentioned by many. I don't have to say anything about that. They are important. That is true. They are helpful instruments. But the real essence of EMSA is its people. It's European cooperation is about people more than systems. And I would like to see uh, the EMSA example in the wider EU framework. Um, many years ago, Matthias, you have used the, uh, the words that under the main EU institutions now, a second layer of European integration was developing all the EU agencies and you are fathering a number of those, and I believe the better one, it seems. The Aviation Agency, for example, is, is, is a top quality organization. EMSA is certainly not the, not the only one. Um, and I believe it is important in this period where the European project is having trouble and is often in the press in a not positive way, that there are also examples of places where people of different EU member states are working together in a hands-on matter, not portraying the image of the overpaid, overstaffed, billion spending, and people that show that something useful can be done by working together in a straightforward manner. I would like to, because all this is a fruit of collective effort, and I would like to thank uh, some main players, starting with the Republic of Portugal. After all, we would not be here if we had not been so well received by Portugal. We moved to Lisbon five years ago, and, uh, well, the premises speak for themselves. We have uh, probably the best facilities of all the EU agencies. It is the right place where we can develop and grow and receive guests. So thank you. And a word of thank you also to our landlord, the Port of Lisbon. We started in a strict business relationship not willing to pay too much. I'm Dutch, after all. <laughs> and over the years, our relationship have, uh, has developed to, uh, to one of positive partnership. And uh, 
I'm sure it will continue on, uh, on that part. Secondly, I would like to thank the board, my boss. Uh, the board has always been an example of the right cooperative, constructive spirit. Thanks to its chairperson, the previous chairperson, and the next chairperson, the board, there are other boards in other agencies where life is much more difficult. Our board has always made the decisions that had to be made in an, in an efficient manner. I would like to thank the representatives of the European Commission. If we see EMSA as an infant organization, the Commission and its services are the parents. And as we know, in a family, even with a good child and good parents, life is not always without tension or problems. But I would like to thank the EU represent the Commission representatives for being good parents, and good parents can be sometimes soft, sometimes strict, but they will never let go. They will always remain dedicated to the infant. Thank you. I would like to thank the European Parliament. We do not work together on a, on a daily basis. There is a much more distant relationship. And all these years of being aware of a gentle, benign, favorable wind coming from the Parliament. When needed, the Parliament was there. Normally, I was received once in a year always found an open door. I thank you very much for the clear presentation with all the, it's clear, the Parliament wants more. Well, I would also like to thank other representatives of the Parliament who have found the time in their busy schedules to be here with us today. Then the EU Council here represented by the Polish Presidency, by the Secretary of State, Anna Vipic, whom I know for many years. The Council, by definition, has to be more conservative, more prudent when it comes to the expansion of EMSA. <laughs> more Europe means less freedom for the Member States, at least in in many cases, that is the, the general perception. And still, the Council has reached an agreement saying we want more from EMSA. Now the Parliament says we want more and more. <laughs> you will work it out. I would guess that in six months or so there might be an agreement. This is all Europe. But the, the world and the maritime world are a lot bigger than Europe. We are in a global business. Shipping, well, in the presence of the Secretary General of IMO, it's obvious, and we know, I'm very, very pleased if you could find the time in your extremely busy schedule, against the advice of your own staff, to go to Lisbon and to be here with us today. It's a global business and we have global representatives from the ship owners, from Ajax, and quite many others. Classification societies are very, very crucial when it comes to maritime safety. And I'm extremely pleased that we have CEOs, presidents of class societies here. I'm extremely pleased that the Korean delegation traveled all the way from their home base to be with us in Lisbon. Uh, very pleased to have a Russian, a high level Russian delegation here from Moscow, St. Petersburg. Also pleased uh, that we have developed over the years such a 
positive and, 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 and easy relationship with the US Coast Guard, for example. Forgive me that I cannot mention everybody, but uh, there is a future for EMSA that is clear. I'm going to leave EMSA not because of any negative feeling, not because I'm tired, old, frustrated, or angry with anybody, but simply because the job has been done. I was hired to build, and that's what I like. And uh, if EMSA is a ship, it is now completely operational, has a very professional crew, I've made myself redundant, and <laughs> I'll be very pleased to watch in an whatever different capacity, how matters are evolving further. As an audience, very, very much for coming out with such great numbers. And a last word of thanks to the EMSA staff. They are the life and blood. It's all about people. Um, but I do not want to say to we will have a separate session with EMSA staff next week. So. Uh, Thank you, Willem. And for me is now just to give some closing remarks after having listened to these very interesting and to some extent 